Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lead Education and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how we can calculate the greatest and smallest element of an integer array. So here, first what we're going to do is we're going to create some variables in our program. And first, let me have some integer variables. First, we're going to have a variable called length. And in this variable, we're going to be storing the length of array, you know, the number of elements in the array. And then we're going to have another variable which we're going to use inside the loops and i'm going to call it as counter and then we're going to have a, a couple of uh, variables to store the greatest and smallest values so i'm going to call them as greatest and smallest all right now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to ask the user to enter the size of the array or you know the user need to specify how many elements he's going to enter for the array so i'm going to use a printf statement and i'm going to say enter this length of the array and then we're going to have the new line here and then we're going to use a scanf function so it's going to be scanf and here we're going to receive the input from the user which is going to be an integer value and that's why i'm using the percentage d format specifier and then we're going to store that in our length variable all right now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an array and uh, that array is going to be having the length number of elements and here in this case our array is going to be of integer type and that's why i'm going to specify int as a keyword and then the array name let's say a and then here in the square brackets i'm gonna use the length variable this will create an integer array with length number of parameters you know the value for this length variable will be entered by the user all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use a for loop and we're gonna receive the input for our array so i'm gonna use a for loop and uh, first we need to initialize our loop counter variable i'm gonna initialize this one to a value of zero and then we're going to check for the condition which is going to be counter less than length and then we're going to increment the value of this counter variable and also don't make any spelling mistakes here you know we have used the variable name as length not lengthy all right now inside this for loop we're going to ask the user to enter the value so i'm going to use a printf statement and i'm going to say enter the percentage d element for the array all right here we're gonna refer for counter plus one here what happens is for the first iteration it's gonna display enter the first element for the array here we are using this counter plus one otherwise you know it will display like enter the zeroth element for the array you know that won't sound good so we just want to start the counting from one and that's why you know i have done counter plus one and uh, then we're gonna use a scanner function and here we're gonna receive the input so it's gonna be percentage d from a specifier and then we're gonna store that in the position pointed by the counter variable and uh, here you know for the first iteration the counter variable is going to contain a value of zero and here it's going to display enter the counter plus one which is first element for the array and the value that we're going to enter will be stored in the zeroth position for that array a and in the second iteration it will be one and for the third iteration it will be two and uh, it will be like that all right now here we have created an array of integers and also we have uh, written the code which is going to receive the input from the user for that array all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to find out the greatest and the smallest element of that array and to do that we're going to use our logic and uh, which is nothing but here let's say our user is going to enter the length as four you know the number of elements in the array is four and uh, the user is going to enter 20 30 10 and 40. so at that time what we're going to do is to find the greatest element of this array first we're going to assume that the first element is going to be the greatest element and we're going to do that by using this statement we're going to write greatest equal to the first element of the array so in this case it's going to be equal to 20. so first we're going to assume that the first element of the array is the greatest element 
then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a for loop and we're gonna loop through all the other elements of the array and we're gonna check whether that element is greater than the value stored in the greatest variable which is nothing but we're gonna loop through all these elements so here first we're gonna get to the second element you know we have already considered the first element so we don't need to consider that again so the second element will be considered which is nothing but whether a of 1 you know the second element which will be at the position 1 is having a value which is greater than the value stored in the greatest variable so here our a of 1 is containing a value of 30 and our greatest variable is containing the value of 20 here you know we have assumed that the first element is the greatest element and here what happens is this 30 is greater than the value stored in the greatest variable which is 20 and that's why what we're gonna do is we're gonna store the greatest value in the greatest variable so we're gonna write greatest equal to a of 1 so the greatest will become 30 not 20 all right then we're gonna loop through another element which is gonna be the third element of the array and at that time we're gonna check whether this element is containing a value which is greater than the value which we have stored in the greatest variable now this greatest variable is containing a value of 30 and whether this other element is containing a value which is greater than the greatest variables value no 10 is not greater than the 30 and that's why we're not gonna do anything here if this condition satisfies then we're gonna store the greatest value in this greatest variable here this 10 is not greater than 30 and that's why we're not gonna do anything and then we're gonna go to the next element now we're gonna check whether the fourth element of the array is containing a value which is greater than the value stored in the greatest variable now this fourth element is containing a value of 40 whether this 40 is greater than the value stored in the greatest variable which is containing a value of 30 and uh, here this 40 is greater than 30 and that's why what we're gonna do is we're gonna write greatest equal to that array element so here the greatest will contain the value of 40 so similarly we're gonna loop through all the elements of the array and we're gonna find out the greatest element of that array and in the end we're just gonna print out that value so in this case the greatest element or you know the greatest value of that array is gonna be 40 all right similarly to find out the smallest element first we're gonna assume that the first element of the array is the smallest element so here we're gonna write smallest equal to the first element of the array so it's gonna be 20 you know which is the first element then we're gonna loop through all other elements and we're gonna compare that elements value with the value stored in the smallest variables value so here first we're gonna begin with the second element you know we have already considered this first element so we don't need to check you know whether this first element's value is greater than the first element's value you know it's not necessary so we're gonna begin with the next element so here first we're gonna go for the second element of the array whether the second element of the array is containing a value which is less than the value stored in the smallest variable you guys can see here the second element of the array you know this one is containing a value of 30 and our smallest variable is containing a value of 20 this condition does not evaluate to true because 30 is not less than 20 so we're not gonna do anything then we're gonna move on to the next element so we're gonna go to the third element we're gonna check whether the third element is containing a value which is less than the value stored in the smallest variable here this is containing a value of 10 and uh, our smallest variable is containing a value of 20 in this case 10 is less than 20 yes the condition satisfies and that's why what we're gonna do is we're gonna store the smallest value in the smallest variable so the smallest variable now is gonna contain a value of 10 now we're gonna move to the next element we're gonna check whether this element is containing a value which is less than the value stored in the smallest variable here 40 
is less than 10 you know the smallest is containing 10 now which is not true and that's why we're not gonna do anything so similarly we're gonna loop through all the elements of the array and we're gonna find out the smallest element of the array so now what we're gonna do is we can apply this logic to our program and here what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the for loop and before using the for loop first we're gonna initialize our greatest and smallest variables with the value of the first element of the array so uh, here i'm gonna write smallest equal to a of zero you know the array index start from zero so the first element will be at the position zero and similarly we're gonna write greatest equal to a of zero all right now the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use a for loop so it's gonna be for and we're gonna initialize our counter variable with a value of one because here we don't want to check for the first element because you know we have already used that first elements value we're gonna begin the looping from the second element of the array so the second elements position will start from one and that's why i'm gonna initialize my counter variables value with one then we're gonna write counter less than length and then we're gonna increment the value of the counter variable now inside this for loop what we're gonna do is first we're gonna check for the greatest uh, value of the array so i'm gonna use the if condition and i'm gonna write if a of counter you know the current element of the array is containing a value which is greater than the value stored in the greatest variable if it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write greatest equal to a of counter and similarly we're gonna do for the smallest variable so we're gonna use another if condition inside the for loop so it's gonna be if a of counter is containing a value which is less than the smallest variables value if it is so what we're gonna do is we're gonna write smallest equal to a of counter so so by using this for loop we're gonna be looping through all the elements of the array and we are finding out the greatest and the smallest value the last thing that we're gonna do is we're just gonna print out the value which we have found for the greatest and smallest variables so uh, i'm gonna use a printf statement so it's gonna be printf and here we're gonna say greatest is percentage d and smallest is percentage d and here we're gonna refer for the greatest and the smallest variables all right now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna build and run it now first we need to specify the length of the array you know the number of elements that will be there in our array so here let me enter five enter the first element two third second element six the element 8 9 44 and now you guys can see greatest is 44 and smallest is 2 and here if you want to run it again i'm just gonna build and run it and this time i'm gonna enter the length of the array as 3 and the first element is gonna be 3 second element is gonna be 2 and the third element is gonna be 1 and if i hit the enter button it says greatest is 3 you know which is the greatest value which we have entered and the smallest is 1 so uh, this is how you guys can find out the greatest and smallest element of an array so uh, this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can uh, like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learning follow me on twitter at learning edu and check out my website learninglight.com for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial